everyone. This is Karen from Grace Bee Creations. I hope you're having a wonderful Monday so far. So I am doing a tutorial tonight and this is going to be the start of a new um, a new program for this channel. Um, we're going to be calling this Making It Monday and every Monday Except for tonight, it's going to be a little bit different, and I'll explain why. Every Monday, we're going to be making, I'm going to be doing a tutorial, not a tutorial, making, I'm going to be making something that we choose out of a bowl on Saturday evening's video. And you guys' comment are going to have a lot to do with this, so it's a lot of fun. I can't obviously do that tonight because you didn't know about it. And um, there's no way for us to pull from something tonight. So I'm going to start off just doing a project that I've been really wanting to show you. And then next Saturday, this coming Saturday, we're going to start with um, all the comments, like any um, comments to this video. Um, you can add in what kind of projects you'd like to see. And I will write those down in a bowl. And then next Saturday evening, while I'm doing a project for Saturday or working in the book, at the end of the video, we're going to pick out of the bowl what I'm going to be making from Monday, from make it, Making It Monday. So this is going to be the, what the new um, series is called on the channel, uh, Making It Monday. It's going to be fun. It's going to be like interactive because you guys get to put in what you would like to see. Like if somebody wants to write down making a um, um, a vintage envelope or a um, a ruffle or um, a ruffle ta um, tassel or anything that you would like. to Anything that you would make ephemera-wise that you would put in your junk journal that we can make, that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to put all of those in a bowl, and we're going to pick one, and that's what we're going to do on Monday. You can either craft along, you know, while you're watching the video. I can do the tutorial or show you making it for you or whatnot. It's not really a tutorial. It's kind of, but it's not. Making it Monday and Tuesday tutorial is going to be kind of like the same and I'll explain that more. I told you I was coming up with a schedule for the for the channel. So I'm working on a schedule. It's coming up really nice. We're going to be doing Saturdays, um, skipping Sunday. Then we're going to do Making It Monday. Then I'm going to be doing a thing called um, um, Teach Me Tuesday, which is kind of like a tutorial. And then... Um, Another day during the week, it's going to be like working on, it's like an open thing, like working on the book or decorating the book or whatever. So I'm slowly starting to come up with like ideas for the channel. But the first thing that we're going to do is making it Monday. And tonight, I am going to show you how I make these beautiful um, French envelopes. These are my favorite. I made this one's a little bit different because it's like a flip open. I made this really um, vintage French. It's like so pretty. Um, and it opens up into two pot lace pockets. And I just love how the top came out with the, with the, um, with the, with the, um, the really pretty stone and the paper and the lace on the bottom. And this I didn't quite finish this one. I don't understand what I was thinking when I made this, but this is like the French envelope idea. But for some reason, and I don't know why, I did not lace the inside. It's the back of the wallpaper. I'm like, what was I thinking? I didn't even like lace the inside, but it's still beautiful on the outside. But this is the French envelope style that I'm making tonight. I'm not making this style. Um, I can do that another night, but I'm going to do this style. I'm going to show you how to do this style. You can make it long. You can, you can make them, you can make them short. The one thing that you're going to need for this 
is you really want to use some decorative laces. And what I mean by decorative, and if you don't have decorative laces, you can use um, you can use doilies. You can use a colored doily or a really pretty. You want something with kind of like a scallop on it, whether it's the edge of a lace or you don't need to have a decorative lace. It's just easier. And what I mean by decorative is I'll show you. Here are a couple of pieces of lace that I have. These are like the, my fancy laces, not your typical white, but they're more decorative, but they have like a scalloped edge on it. I like this one because it reminds me of the, um, the Eiffel Tower, Paris. And so you, you can see how it has like the decorative edges so that when you go over the top of the envelope, it just gives it that French envelope look, right? And you add a pearl on top and it's gorgeous, right? So you want to use a piece of lace that's got a scallop on it or if you don't, you can make a scallop out of your lace or you can use a piece of doily. Doily's probably the best backup for that. This one's not really a scallop, but you can still use something like that if you don't have a scallop, some kind of an edge on it. I have this one that I've got. I like the look of this one because it's like a champagne color. It's really elegant. And so if you go over the edge like that, you know, and you add, you can even add like a flower on the side. It doesn't have to be a stone. Um, and then you got your typical white. If you really want to use white, you can also do this over a colored piece of paper if you want the white to pop. But see how that has like a scalloped edge to it? That's what we're looking for, right? So of course, my favorite piece of lace that I got from Esme's most recent buy. As you guys know that I've been dying to use this piece of lace, I'm using this one tonight. Kind of like go over the edge like that just to kind of give it a really cute French look and I'm going to do it on this piece of, um, it's like a French wallpaper and I printed that up. So like I said, if you don't have that kind of lace, you can get creative and use your doilies. Like I have some tea stained um, vintage kind of doilies that I got in the other day. They're also from the Hallmark collection that I showed you. They're just in a different color. You can use any kind of doily and just kind of fold it over like that. You can use that as a part of your envelope to make it look French looking. These look beautiful in the junk journals. You can use white if you have it over a colored piece of paper. And then you're gonna have some lace so that we can line the inside of the envelope. Just grab some embellishments like buttons or you can use some pearls or you can use uh, stone pearls, whatever you wanna decorate it with. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I make this. We're going to make it Monday. That's what this is called, making it Monday. That's what the title of this is gonna be and we're gonna do this every Monday. And it's gonna be fun having you guys write in the comments like what you're gonna do is after the in the comments tonight you're gonna write down what you would like to see next Monday to be put in the bowl so you're gonna write your normal comment that you guys like to make and you're gonna say I want to put in this project for next Monday's draw and then Saturday I mean next Saturday's drawer draw and then next Saturday we'll draw what we're gonna do next Monday does that make sense? Okay, so this is eight and a half by 11. I don't wanna make a real wide one like this. This is actually a pretty wide envelope. You can if you want, if you want it the same size. This one is the whole eight and a half. This was the whole size of the eight and a half by 11 paper that was folded. I think I'm gonna go just a tiny bit shorter. I think I'm gonna go 
I'm going to go at seven and a half. Just a little bit shorter. Maybe. No, I'll go at seven. I'll go an easy seven. I'm going to trim it. Okay. It's so simple. This is a very simple project. It's the kind of project you can make many of. And this was the other paper I chose too. If I, if I have time to do a second one. Um, let me, hold on. I'm just going to grab... I'm just going to grab a piece of paper to lie down. Okay. All right, so this is what you're going to do. You're going to flip it around. You want to be mindful of what you want to be on the front part. So I want these flowers to be on, the, on this part here. So I'm going to flip it open this way. Now you're going to... You're going to fold it up, but you want to make sure that you have a lot of the top. You don't want the top to be small. You want it to be wide so that you have plenty of room to put your lace. So I'm going to go about right here. I think, let me see, where did I? I'm going to see where I folded that just so you guys can follow along. At the 7 mark... I folded it at four and a half. And then we're going to take this and we're going to fold it over like you would an envelope. Like that. Okay? Now, you know my rule of thumb. You can either stitch it or you can glue it. I'm going to go off camera and stitch it today. Let me just grab my bone folder. But before we stitch, we're going to line the inside of the envelope. Because you want it to look gorgeous. And what is better than lace, right? Gotta have the lace. I'm just lining it with my very simple um, lace that I've got. I think I might go this way and then do two of them and just overlap. So I'm going to line the inside completely with lace. I'm going to start off there first. You can use any lace you want any color. If you don't have wide lace, you can line it with another piece of ephemera, like um, maybe vellum, or you can double, you can double um, print so that you have a print on the other side. So you don't have to line it with lace. You can just do a, oh my goodness, you can do a double, on it so you have the print on the other side. I hate that when glue gets stuck to the paper. Okay. I'm still waiting for my little glue things to come in that you stick down glue to. The little silicone I just ordered it so it should be here soon. I'll trim this better after. I just want to get the lace down. So I'm going to add glue to the other side. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to line it like that. Try not to get too much glue on my fingers because the other day when I did that project for the um, the glue caddy, oh my goodness, it took me all day to get the glue off my hands. All right. Now, 
Just going to press that down. You want to let it dry because you don't want the lace to stick. Okay, I'm going to close it up really quick and I'm going to trim this lace. glue that one down. That's the one I was scraping off the glue because it got stuck. Sorry if that's loud. I just noticed that was like really loud. Oh, I didn't get that off there. Trim that on the edge. Okay. Like that. Now, you can go ahead and you can glue the sides to make your pocket. Um, hmm. My sewing machine is not, I'm trying to think what color I have in my thread. I think I've got gray. I'm trying to think. Okay, I'm going to go off camera for a second and I'm going to stitch this and I'll be right back. Okay, I just went and stitched a really nice design on the edge. I used gray. It's like a really pretty gray. I absolutely love this design. It's one of my favorite on my machine. I use it quite often. I think I got it all the little edges done. And there I have a nice pocket, so I'm just going to go in and make sure that it didn't stick down. I want to make sure that I have all my glue and nothing stuck while I was sewing. I've got one more piece here. Oh, there it is. I knew I had one more string hanging. There. That came out really nice. That's actually a really good color. It matches. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add I'm going to just because of the lace underneath, it actually needs just to be pressed down a little bit harder. I went a little far up on this one and low on that one, but I don't care. It's pretty pretty anyways. So I'm going to use this piece of lace here to give my French. And I like the pink because it's going to match with the pink right there. Now I have to see how I want to lie it on the page. I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to go like this. And you can go over too, you don't have to go to the edge. But I think with this one, I might want to go to the edge. Now, you guys know I love this piece of lace but I'm not sure, 100%, I'm not 100% if I'm liking the way that it looks. Now, don't get me wrong, this lace is absolutely beautiful. I'm just not sure it's giving me that French look that I'm looking for. I'm gonna try the other laces that I have because this might go on good on a different, I don't know, I'm just gonna try a couple and see what I come up with. This one matches the gray and the pink. I like that. Now I'm torn. But it almost has a little bit too much pink. OK, 
Okay, I like that. Let's give the others a try. I think this is going to be... Whoops, hello. I think this is going to give me too much purple. It gives it a really nice French look, though. That's actually really pretty. I'm just not sure. I actually like that a lot. I'm bummed because I love this and I, I just can't get it to lie the way that I want it to lie down on the on the envelope. I'm thinking that this lace might look better on a longer envelope like I did with this one. See if I was to just, there's more room to lie it over. I'm so picky. You know that feeling when you're making a project and you're just not feeling something? It's like it just, it just doesn't feel right. I'm not getting the vibe with this piece of lace. I think this is going to be used for something else. I'm either going to go with this or this purple. Let me try one more thing. I wish I had more of this because I absolutely love this, but let me see, okay. This one is definitely not doing it for me. This purple one is definitely not going to work for me. And I'm not going to go with white because I use white all the time. So, it's going to be between the purple. I think I'm going to go with the purple. I like this one a lot. I just think the pink is too pink. Um, I like the edges because it matches with the with the gray. Oh, I don't know. I'm actually liking this one. Ugh, which one should I do? How would it look if I went slightly over? That one or this one? I like those little I think I like this one a lot. I think I'm going to go with this one. Yes, I'm going to go with this one. I am as I am. Okay. Make sure. I want to make sure I'm cutting it in the right spot. I've been wanting to use this lace for a long time. I would have to say this has been sitting in my drawer for a good year. I got this from, um, her shop is closed right now. She's taking a break. Um, oh my goodness, I forgot the name. The Lace Shop. That's what it's called, The Lace Shop. And she closed her shop down for a little bit and I've been begging her to open back up because I like the different styles of laces that she has as well. Um, so I don't know when she's coming back. Okay, so I'm going to... I don't know if I want to go a little over, if I want to go just to the top. I like the look of it hanging right on the edge. Like that. Yeah, I'll go just to right there, just so you can see. But I, the only thing is that there's a little bit of lace hanging over the edge. Let me just trim that down. All right. 
So now I'm going to glue the top. Make sure you have it going the right way. I've done that before. Putting it backwards without looking. Wait a minute, let me see. Why does that not look right? Hold on, I just wanna make sure I'm putting this down the right way. Yep, okay, this is it. I was second guessing myself, I'm like, oh my gosh. And of course my hair gets everywhere. I've got such long hair. All right. I'm gonna go just a tad over, just a little bit. You can still see the edge of the envelope. Take my bone folder, just gonna go over it. Now I'm trying to see where I should end this. I can definitely keep the pearls on the end, but I wanna trim the end of that though. So I'm going to try and trim it straight. I'm not good at cutting fabric or lace. I'm horrible at it. I need one of those trimmers that you can get for fabric. Those little, the little rotary tool thing. Even that, I would mess it up, trust me. That's pretty straight. So I'm going to fold it, and then I'm just going to tap glue on the back of it. I'm not gonna go crazy, I'm just gonna put enough just to hold the back down. Like that. And then I'm gonna trim the edges. Like this. little piece of lace hanging over the edge. Okay. That is pretty. Now to choose which piece I want to use on top. Do I want to do the pearl? Do I want to do just the regular stone. I actually like the pearl. I think the pearl makes it it brings out a little bit because it's a darker color to the darker color and it just brings that it brightens it up. So I think I'm going to go with this one. So I'm going to glue this down. And this glue is perfect also for metal. It's the three in one by Beacon. It's the only glue I use. I'll show you what it looks like. I think I've shown it to you guys before, but this is the only glue that I use. This one and Fabri-Tac. This, this stuff, you can glue anything, like it, paper, lace, delicates, metal, charms, you name it, you can glue it. I love it. All right. Isn't that pretty? Look at how beautiful this French envelope looks. And then if you want to, you can add a little bit of trim here or there. Like, um, let me see. I brought this over just in case. I've got this really pretty trim. You can just add right there. Or you can add it on top. I think it would look nice right there. If you don't want anything bulky, because that has a little bit of pearls on it, you can do... Let me see. I've got that flat lace I use all the time. But, actually, no, because that's ivory, so I don't want to mix the colors. Hold on. Let 
Like if you wanted to use like a flat lace, you can just do something like that. It's kind of like an off color. Me, oh my. Or you could do something really elegant. You want to really make this look. <laughs> I think that's a little thick though. <laughs> that would have been something you could do on the front of it. I think that's a little thick, but it's a good it's a good a good trim for this, just not I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of this to the edge just to accentuate the envelope part. So I'm just gonna add a little bit. Oh, it's trying to curl on me. Okay, while I'm letting this dry, I want to remind you guys as I end the video, in the comments below, if you, you know, if you want to leave a comment for Saturday's drawing to what next Monday's video is going to be, leave a comment below letting me know what you would like to see on making it Monday to put in the bowl to be picked on Saturday. And whatever we pick out, I'll make it or attempt to. <laughs> Just don't go with something crazy. <laughs> that I'm like, make a popsicle house. <laughs> no, I can't do that. Um, something, you know, a little tags vintage stuff like here's an example I just was I found these today and I'm going to add this as a part of my projects that I would love to make I made a bunch of these flowers you make them by putting a bunch of round pieces together and then scrunching them up and gluing them and then you can add a rhinestone in the center and they make beautiful flowers. I would love to show you how to make these flowers. So that's going to be my, um, I'm going to put that in the bowl to be added to the mix on Saturday. So things like that. Things that you know everybody can make and we can all have fun with it. And then what we can do is if you're on Instagram or whatnot, um, we can post what we've made or... Um, I actually started a Grace Bee Creations group on Facebook. Maybe we can all join over there and share our projects together. And there's more coming on that too. I started Grace Bee Creations group on Facebook and I'm going to be leaving you guys the link below if you want to go over and join. Uh, we can have like a little place where we can chat and post photos because you can't do that in YouTube. So um, that would be really cool too. So I'll leave that link below as well. So, leave your comments below on what you want to be added to the mix to be pulled on Saturday um, so that we can have a Making It Monday next Monday and we can do another project. So, I really hope that you loved these French envelopes. I wish I had time to make another one. It's getting late, though. I want to upload this for you guys to see. Um, but I can make another one maybe sometime this week. I can show you how to do this one. Maybe this week on a Wednesday or a Thursday, I can show you how to do a double pocket French envelope. And we can do that as well. So I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. You're amazing. Um, hit that like button. If you haven't yet, subscribe. Leave a comment. Add your, your pick for the draw. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great night, guys. Bye. Thank you.